Hey everybody, Mr. Weiser here. Hey, I'm glad to be talking to you guys again. Hey, it's Easter Spirit Week. Easter's almost here. That's so awesome. And I know we've been celebrating with crazy hair and costumes and uh, all these nutty things we've been doing and covert kindness, which I don't think that's too crazy. That's pretty cool. Uh, but today is uh, Crazy Sock Day. And I found the craziest pairs of socks I could find and I'll warm today. So I'm gonna show them to you right now. Hold on here. We'll get down here. It says, ain't no bad joke like a dad joke. I don't get it. I mean, it's supposed to be funny, I think, but it makes no sense to me. Um, so if one of you guys can explain it to me, please do because <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Ain't no bad joke like a dad joke. I don't know what that means. But anyway, you know, it, this Easter week, I'm lucky because I have Thursday. And it was the Thursday of Easter week when um, Jesus and his 12 apostles celebrated the Passover. Um, and they went to an upper room in a house to celebrate. And uh, during this time, uh, well, actually this time was called the Last Supper because that was the last supper they all had together. Um, but during this time, Jesus uh, talked about um, bread being his body and blood and, and wine being his blood. Um, and we associate that act, that act of the representation of the bread and the wine being his body and his blood with um, communion, typically. Um, but you know what? It's, it's representative of some other things, and that's what I want to talk about. Uh, you know, during this week... Um, Lots of things happened, but when Jesus was arrested and taken before the Sanhedrin, which was the Jewish leadership, he was beaten there. Um, then when he was uh, taken in front of the foreign governor, Pontius Pilate, uh, and he was found guilty uh, because Jesus, uh, he wasn't guilty and Pilate knew it, but Pilate didn't know what else he could do. So uh, Jesus then was scourged, which was whipped with, I mean, it was worse than whipping, okay? Jesus was beaten, and then he was made to carry his own cross, um, which was terribly excruciating, so much so that he fell three times and had to have help. Uh, and then he was crucified with nails in his hands and a sword in his side and uh, suffered greatly there. And he did all this for us. Um, but let me read to you the scripture, and I think you'll understand why I think it, it means more than just what we typically think about it for, with uh, communion, okay? And this is in Matthew 26, it's 20, verse 26 and 27. Uh, While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Not only is that a picture of Jesus and a way to remember him, but it's also a picture of what he's going to suffer for us. His body will be broken. He was beaten. He was whipped. He was made to carry the cross. He had nails put in. And blood was spilled. His blood. So... Think about this in terms of not only did Jesus die for us, and he, um, and and that that was bad enough, taking all the sins of humanity upon him, but he also suffered very much physically too. So, just keep that in mind when we're celebrating Easter. It's a happy time, it's a wonderful time to say he is risen, but he did go through a lot, much more so than we really think about. You guys have a great Easter, and thanks.